Hey there, political enthusiasts. Welcome back to another deep dive into the fascinating world of politics. Ever wondered who really lives up to Christian values in the political arena? It's a question that has sparked countless debates and discussions. Today, let's dive into the age-old debate Republicans versus Democrats. Who truly embodies the principles they preach? Who's walking the walk? And who's just talking the talk? It's time to peel back the layers and see what's really going on. Let's start with the Republicans, the self-proclaimed torchbearers of Christian values. Love thy neighbor, right? They often position themselves as the moral compass of the nation. But, oh wait, isn't this the same party that champions the art of rudeness and mean-spirited behavior? It's a curious contradiction, isn't it? How delightfully Christian of them. It's almost as if they've redefined what it means to be a good Christian. It's almost as if being unpleasant to anyone with a differing opinion is a new commandment. The level of vitriol can be quite astonishing. Take a step back and think about it. Is this really the behavior that aligns with the teachings of Jesus? The GOP often wraps itself in the cloak of Christianity, promoting traditional values and moral righteousness. They speak of family values and religious freedom. But when you peel away the layers, what do you find? A complex web of contradictions and selective morality? A tendency towards divisive rhetoric, name-calling, and a disdain for those who don't fit their mold. It's a far cry from the message of love and acceptance. It's like they've forgotten the whole love your enemies part. The core message of Christianity seems to be lost in translation. Now let's contrast this with the Democrats. They often get labeled as the party of inclusivity and compassion. You know, the ones who actually seem to want to include and help everyone. Crazy, right? Their policies often reflect a desire to uplift the marginalized. Compassion, empathy, inclusivity, these are just buzzwords they throw around. But do they really mean it? But hold on, isn't that what being a good Christian is all about? The teachings of Jesus emphasize helping those in need. Helping the needy, loving the unloved, welcoming the stranger. These are the values that are supposed to be at the heart of Christianity. It's almost like the Democrats have hijacked the playbook on Christian values and decided to live it out. How dare they? It's a bold move that challenges the status quo. Meanwhile, the Republicans are busy perfecting their scowl and sharpening their insults. It's a strategy that seems more focused on division than unity, because nothing says love like a good dose of vitriol, right? It's a perplexing approach to politics. Think about the policies and actions. What do they reveal about the true priorities of each party? Democrats seem to focus on social justice, health care for all, and lifting up the marginalized. These are issues that resonate with the teachings of Jesus. Sounds pretty Christ-like, doesn't it? Their actions often speak louder than their words. On the other hand, Republicans often prioritize policies that benefit the wealthy, cut social services, and build walls instead of bridges. It's a stark contrast. So next time you hear Republicans crowing about their Christian values, just remember, actions speak louder than words. It's a reminder to look beyond the rhetoric. And if actions are anything to go by, it looks like the Democrats might just be the ones practicing what Jesus preached. How ironic. It's a twist that challenges conventional wisdom. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Your engagement helps us continue these important conversations. Until next time, keep questioning and keep thinking. Stay curious and stay informed.